that is a lot of early damage. This is not a sustain lane. Those keep on hitting now. Whoa, Yasui going forward. There's Hard coming out of the jungle. Last auto attack, and it's actually the Ignite from Yasui, helping Hard pick up first blood for Cloud9. Now, Nof will be unable to join the rest of their team should the opportunity around. Now, Yasui is going to be in a 1v2 situation. Uh, leap in there, but with the lockdown chain, going to latch on Inori. Could be in a lot of trouble. There's the Zephyr. The knockup. Fade's going to come up with one kill. It's the second one of the game here for C9. T Spicy, just barely by the mantra. Uh, dunk down here on his spicy, nowhere to run, that flash just seconds away from being up again, uh, junglers, uh, whoa, Shiro just gonna get one shot, there by Yasui, over the wall, with pink wards, vision control, and a little scuttle crab there as a spectator, maybe cheering them on as they take down dragon number one, 16 minutes. We're all on Omicron, so no Zhonya's for more of like a, this is kind of the ability to see out, whoa, and oh my gosh, that is the power of DFG, uh, and nobody to contest here, for Roar it means the uh, second dragon of the game will go to Cloud9, Tempest expected, oh, and Nori gonna get frozen down there, taken out by Fade, look at Spicy trying to get this damage down from a long range, but only really hit one of those, possibly two rights of the Arcane, and Roar looking to commit to take this mid lane outer turret, but the FC9 can find a good engage. Look at that. The double knockup. An immediate push backwards there by Fadeaway. But with uh, Solo King not in a great spot. He actually might die here. Lod though in the back is completely uninhibited as far as damage is concerned. A nice smite kill there by Inori. But he's actually just going to jump in to die. Now Spicy. Very, very low. Lod coming up with a triple kill. Might have picked up the Quadra. Is this the Pentakill? Akanian very, very low. Give it to him. Lod with a Pentakill. Specifically because, oh, looking to uh, scout things out there with it. Whoa, Shiro! Not in a great spot at all. And there's the big flash knockup engage on a spicy solo with that kill. And now Inori, uh, not, uh, not there with the rest of his team. Uh, Inori in a, uh, difficult situation finds himself dead. Yasui versus Akkadian probably does not have kill potential there, but, uh, I don't think the rest of uh, Roar are gonna really appreciate the situation that Acadia is gonna find himself in. Super tanky and able to stay alive for a remarkably long amount of time, but he's gonna go down spicy, sniped off behind the turret by a glacial shard. Ice shard, rather. Uh, he's gonna go down. The second tier mid lane turret will fall as well, and there's Fade gonna heal everybody else up before pushing in onto the base. And Honestly, with three down and 30 second death timers here for Acadian and Spicy, this is going to be a very difficult base defense. With inhibitor down mid and a push up top lane, this base turret is not going to last for very long. And Nori off to the side, uh, is going to be forced to flash back into the base, and we're just going to see Sui start taking out the turret by himself. Probably will not be able to kill off Acadian. Bunch of magic resistance stacked up onto him, but as the uh, siege intensifies here, Cloud9 Tempest. Not a whole lot standing in between them and killing off the base here to the side. Valkyrie in from Lelo D. Godlike. Crit to pick up that kill. One more out of deck with a shield. Saves Shiro and oh lord. Gonna get shut down. And the Guardian Angel and it still doesn't go in their favor. But here's fourth dragon of the game being picked up by Cloud9 Tempest. There's a counter talisman of ascension. Keep there. Oh my gosh, that attempted catch here on the fade. He'll probably die here if Spicy can snipe him down. He's dodging, he's weaving, he's turning, and he's out of there. But so is Spicy the hard way. 45 seconds death timer back in base. Now hard is still uh still on the chaos. So is the rest of the team. Double kill there for Solo King. And honestly, with three dead and five alive here for Cloud9 Tempest. This could be a 2-0 sweep of four. One of the more hyped up teams in this tournament, uh, C9G. Kind of legend kill, not necessarily legend killers at this point, but they have taken on a uh, team with a lot of hype behind them and just kind of looked him in the face and took him down one. And game number two will go to Cloud9 Tempest 2-0 over Roar.